It's time for another baby. Why is there a dead bug on my peekaboo? Super exciting content. What is that? Where did you get a piece of this looks sketch? Do I think it's gonna fit? No. 10 out of 10 would recommend and I'm probably going to do it again. Grayson. Oh my God. I can't hold my movie when I have this in my hand. You can hold it. You got it. When I. Or not. Okay, there you go. Great, like that. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. We need to get this together today. It is past forgiveness. I feel like I'm blocking most of the screen, so I'll come back when it's done. How many Kalamata olives do you need? You have three jars, sir. Explain yourself. I like them. I'm making it so clean and organized. Look. Oh, wow. Thank you, but Kalamata, uh, Kalamari olives need to leave. Okay, all right, get ready to go. So this girl I follow, her name is Delilah. In her YouTube videos, after they go grocery shopping, she has her kids like announce all the things that they bought. It's seriously like my favorite little segment of her vlogs. So I thought it'd be fun to recreate that with Grayson today. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna hand you everything that we bought, yeah. and then you're gonna announce and tell me what it is. Okay. Okay. Cucumbers. We didn't buy cucumbers. Banana. Raspberries. Strawberries. Lettuce. Sprouts. Mac and cheese. Yogurt. Quesadilla. Cheese. Broccoli. What is that? Bro broccoli? That's rice. Wait, so rice, rice, baby. Rice, rice, baby? <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it failed. It's starting to do a different game, so I'm gonna put all of this away and I'll be back. Hello. Hi. Bye. Oh, this was a good choice. It's a monster truck. Do you know what monster truck means? Yeah. It means it has giant wheels. Whoa! It comes with dirt to jump off of. Hey, 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 hey. Say oil. What? As if that's what you drink every night. You're so annoying. No. Amazon things at Kohl's, they actually give you like $5 Kohl's cash. So I'm like, I'm not gonna waste that. I'm just doing a haul. Riser is almost 10 months old. Baby clothes, the sizing is so off. And Riser is very small for his age. So I got him these. Yes, they say three months old. And these, I got Grace in this shirt. I don't entirely love the bandana, but this little jumpsuit, I thought it was pretty neutral and cute. That's what I got from Kohl's. I did buy some stuff off of Old Navy the other day. These were the shoes Riser was wearing today, and these, and these little green ones. He's not going to fit into these for a while, but that's fine. That's what I got from Old Navy. I'll link them down below if they are still available. Taylor is making us baked potatoes for dinner and he's burning his fingers. Ow! You good, bro? It'll still be like five minutes. Five minutes. So I'm gonna give myself five minutes to at least clean up the living room.
we gotta pack you up. Grayson is wearing play clothes and we are packing you up. Do you wanna tell the vlog what we're packing you for? Um, we're packing me for because I'm going camping with Daddy and Grandpa. Is this your very first time camping? Yeah. Are you so excited? But I'm gonna pack, pack my light though. Yes, we can't forget your light. That's a good idea. Can you reach it? Yeah, I'll get it. All right, so we've got jammies, swim diaper, right here. swim suit, an outfit for tomorrow, some more play clothes, hence the bright colors. If you know, you know. Grayson requested to wear that hat. That hat is so cool, dude. I want to have to hold this up. Oh, yeah. On your shorts like that. I don't want to turn it on right now because your brother's sitting down right in front of it. So don't turn it on right now. Wait till you get go camping and it gets dark outside, huh? You stay by daddy the entire time, okay? Oh, oh what? By daddy and grandpa. Well, because there's other people camping there and we just want to be safe and not lose our daddy, okay? All right, I'm gonna pack your water too, just in case you want some water. You wanna go get stripey from upstairs in my room? Yeah. And your blankie, can you go grab those and come back down? Yeah. There was a thunderstorm last night and it was scary, huh? Yeah. Okay, I asked you not to turn that on, so please come here. Too bright. Okay. Okay. I'm all ready to go. You're all ready to go? Yeah. Let's see, turn around. Whoa, you got a turtle shell. Yeah. You gonna have fun? Yeah. Can you please guys move because we're walking through the gate? Why are you walking through the gate? Um, because we're going camping. <laughs> camping? Okay, bye guys. Bye. Love you. Love you so much. The boys left and I was cleaning up while holding Riser and then I had this like aha realization moment that I think this is the first time Riser and I have ever been alone. In the hospital, it was me, you, and Daddy. There's been times when Grayson was away but Taylor was still here. I was cleaning and then I was like, you know what, no, like I never get alone time with him. I'm going to sit down and we're going to play. It's a mess, but that's okay, right? You want to show them your peekaboo baby? Peekaboo, there's the baby. Can I show them? Okay, go ahead. Put it back up. Want me to do it? Where's the baby? Peekaboo! There's the baby! He loves this thing. It's probably his favorite toy he's ever had. Yeah. At least he's like super expressive with it. You guys, he's getting really smart. Taylor took his hat off the other day and put it on the ground and was playing with Grayson. And Riser crawled up. Oh, peekaboo! There's the baby! Riser crawled up, grabbed the hat, and like tried to put it on his head. I don't know if that's smart or not, but at nine months, I. I think that's pretty smart, and I am proud of you. Sorry, the light is changing, the sun is setting, so it's just gonna be coming in and out. Um, oh, where's the, geez, those are big burps, sir. Warning, I'm gonna put it on the screen, so I'll give you a second. The Passy Fairy came. So what that means is the Passy Fairy took Grayson's Passies, and then, and I know it's late, he's three and a half, I'm well aware that it's late. I was like, don't come for me in the comments, but, the first night, awful. Like, I had to lay and cuddle him to sleep. Taylor had to lay and cuddle him to sleep. It was, like, multiple times he woke up. I think he woke up, like, once or twice. And both the boys sleep through the night. So normally, once you finally get him down, because that's the problem, is getting them to go to sleep. Not him. The other one. The next night, didn't even mention it. Went to bed without mentioning it. And then, since then, there's only been one situation where he's asked for it. And I think he was just, like, stalling and didn't want to go to bed. You want me to put it on there? Where's the baby? There's the baby. Can you say baby? Baby. Baby. What was the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about? Oh, a few vlogs back, I did say like, oh, we're going to Florida. We got the thing that you don't want to catch. Again. We had it last October and then we got it again. So I went through our house. I think it took like three weeks to go through our house, like domino effect. So yeah, that was not very fun. And we will be going to Florida at some point in July. We hope so. I'll do the nine month update now. Riser is totally crawling, not on his knees crawling, but like army crawling. He's pulling himself up onto things. He isn't really standing on his own, but he's standing with assistance. He's really in the last couple of days started like babbling and talking more versus just saying, mama, dada, ya, ya. Oh, he sometimes says like, hi, or hey. But I think it's just in our heads, you know what I mean? We're like, oh my gosh, did you just say hi back to me? 
His hair is crazy. He needs a haircut. Yesterday when I got Grayson's haircut, I thought about getting Riser's haircut because it's it's crazy. But I was like, I don't want to do that without Taylor there. Then Taylor got home, saw Grayson, and then was like, did you get Riser's haircut too? Like all excited. And I was like, no, I thought you'd want to be there. He goes, oh, I don't care. And I'm like, well, I would have gotten it done had I known. You wave a lot, right? Can you say hi? So yeah, that's kind of my nine month update on Riser. What else do you do? You chew on everything. Oh, he has six teeth. Cheese! Two, four. Mm -hmm. He's so big. It's time for another baby. Just kidding. At least not till after the wedding, right? I teach you how to walk so you can walk down the aisle at the wedding. One foot, two foot, three foot, four. Soon you'll be walking out the door. Oh, I can't retry. I bet you. Why is there a dead bug on my. Oh, I tried to get it out the window. Taylor! It I'm sorry. But I bet you guys can guess the conversation Taylor and I were just having from Grayson's little commentary. I'm not saying I can Look, I'm you. not. I'm not asking for something that goes. Like, this motorcycle will not go past 60. I want a cafe racer that's just really chill and, like, cruise around the city. I'll wear a helmet scares me. I just want to just want to be able to cruise a little bit. Just because you wear a helmet doesn't mean your insides aren't going to be torn apart. Torn apart? Mm -hmm. You don't know. Anyway. I'm going to get one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stick to the stuff you know. Today is Sunday. So far today, well, we've actually had a pretty productive day. I got some work done this morning. Taylor and I cleaned out the garage. Nah, we started to clean out the garage. Started. We cleaned out and donated. And by donate, I mean it's in the back of my car in bags that are probably going to take me a few weeks to it's get gonna there. It's going to sit there for a long but time. But progress, right? We got it at least out of the house. Now we are rewarding ourselves with a lunch out. Have we ever gone out, the four of us, to lunch? I don't think so. Go to Goodwill? Yeah. Why? Because I like it there. Yeah, that is a fun place to go, huh? Yeah. What do you like about it? The clothes. The clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I them. You paid You're, him to say that. I did not. You miss Goodwill? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go another time, okay? No. I don't want to. He's glancing out the window sad, Tebe. I'm not going to Goodwill now. <laughs> what do you need from McDonald's? Oh, because it's yummy. Many, many, many hours later. You guys have makeup on you. Hold, please. <laughs> I can see it. Sorry. Put the boys down, and then I did an Amazon Live. You have to watch this video right here. Um, we have, like, this French press, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. That sat like that for two days. But this freaking, like, bottle washer thing that we have, I saw it on TikTok, just instantly cleaned it out. If that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. It is now almost 9 o'clock. Um, I am going to read a book. Um, Taylor's just playing a video game here. What was that book that I read? Also, if you don't get ad-free Kindles, sometimes, if you read saucy books, sometimes you get some weird, weird covers because it just hits you with an ad for books similar to what you're reading. You know what I'm saying. The covers of the books I read don't look like that. It just has the title of maybe a little flower, which probably stands for something else, but anyways. So I just got done reading Things We Never Got Over, and to be completely honest with you guys, it was like... I want to say, I could be lying. It was like six to 800 pages. I can't remember. Maybe it was like 550, 560 pages. But still, that is the longest book I've ever read in my life. And to be honest with you, I feel like the whole story could have been told within 200 pages. 
I don't want to give anything away, but like it was predictable and like not that good in my opinion. I feel like a lot of people like read those books because it's like lighthearted and just kind of like, ah. When I read books, like I want like plot twists. I want page turners. I don't want like a, oh, this is good. That's sweet. Do you know what I mean? I'm going back to my tried and true Colleen Hoover and I'm reading Maybe Someday. I'm 12% through that book. Um, so far, it's good, but you can't go wrong with Colleen Hoover. So I'm just going to cuddle up, read that book. Taylor's going to join me here soon. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going on big one vendor. That's right. But mommy, what? do you keep your shoes on it? Yes, we have to keep our shoes on for the secret adventure. Thank you for asking. Uh-huh. I could put you in. I could put you in. Why you put that music? Because I want to hear you sing. Right now we are going to a FedEx. Super exciting content I'm giving you here. Something you guys may not know about me is I went to school to be an actress and I have an acting job tomorrow. So I'm going to FedEx because I don't own a printer. Do people own printers nowadays? I don't know. I'm going to FedEx to print off. Wait. What? There's a mail book called FedEx. Y yes, uh, you just put that together? Yeah. So I'm printing off the scripts there and then I'll take them home, highlight them, learn them, and then tomorrow, I'm on for my voiceover acting job. Walk back to the car and to see this. Did you lose a shoe? Huh? Well, guess who gets to call her bank? Me, because my card's being declined. Um, and now we're going to drive to a Goodwill. I have some donation bags in the back that I'm going to obviously donate, hence the name, the words. How does this happen to me? What? Welcome to USA. He's eating Your a shoe. Your be monitored or recorded. Jeez, everybody is donating today, huh, Gray? Look at the line of cars. Are you donating your car? I'm not donating my car. No, I'm donating um, old clothes and stuff. It's going to know it's not the same as it was. As it was? Yeah. Who sings this song? Oh, Billy Bow. <laughs> what? Billy Bow. Harry? Styles. Styles, yeah. So much for other errands. This has taken 30 minutes and we're the next people in line for this Goodwill donations. They shouldn't just have a bin. They should have a bin and everyone just throws their stuff and goes. Mommy? Mama? Mommy? That's these two bags. Mommy? Mama? We're done, we're done, we're going. Was it beeping? <coughs> Not to be a Karen, but I now know why that was taking so long. It was two teenage little boys and they were closing the garage door in between each person and just literally effing around. <laughs> so, they're just wasting everyone's time because they're closing the garage door in between people. Like I had two singular bags. Now I'm just venting and being a Karen. But we're gonna go home now because. No, go home. Okay, I'll see you guys later. So I did an Amazon Live. It was like a get ready with me. I did my hair and makeup. Now I am here with a highlighter and my lines that you saw me print out before. And I'm gonna get to work. It is a voiceover job. So with that being said, um, I really need to make sure, you need to do this in acting in general, but I need to make sure that my pronunciation of all the words are correct. Sometimes with voiceover jobs, um, especially this one, there's a lot of run on sentences. And so I need to make sure that I'm taking my breath at a certain time and all that jazz. So I'm not gonna bore you with it, but let's do like a cute little time lapse, you know? You get to see my facial expressions while working. The run on sentences. Oh my gosh, okay. I talk with my hands a lot, even when doing voiceover. Like no one's gonna be watching me. Well, 
the people in the recording booths and stuff will be watching me. Excuse me, stinker. I'm just packing this up to leave and you think you're just gonna climb up the stairs? Oh, you are, huh? You are? <laughs> you're a stinker. You're a stinker climbing yeah, up the stairs. So first I'm gonna wet your hair. Turn towards mommy. Turn towards mommy. That's away from. Towards means you're looking at my beautiful face. Okay. Bye, mommy. Bye, bye. What are you doing? Hi. Oh, it's hot. Turn it off. <laughs> did you burn your hand? Yeah. Why, why, did, why did it get hot? Because there's hot and cold settings on waters, on faucets. I mean. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. cool looking dude though. Okay, get down. All right, friends, let's get going. Grayson, you go downstairs, put your shoes on, riser. What are you eating off the floor? What is that? What is that? What is that? Where did you get a piece of wood? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it is Wednesday today. Wednesday. I have Wednesday. Can you say Wednesday? Can you say hump day? Hump day? No, hump day. Hump day? Yeah, like that. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Okay. A lot of things on our to-do list today. Starting off going to the DMV with two kids. Taylor I said that this positive. one is good and it's not very busy and it's kind of a hole in the wall. So with that being said, let's find this, this hole This is part wall. of our secret adventure. Yeah, it is part of our secret adventure. Is that a secret adventure? This looks sketch. Tax place, law office, insurance, license. Is that the DMV where it just says license on it? I would assume so. That's all right, here we go, friends. Fingers crossed that it's an in and out process. Hey. Hey. Well, I know oh. now why there's no line at that place. Why it sucks? No, they don't have a camera, so they can't do license renewal. Oh, that's bullshitty. I know, especially because it takes a 10 minute process getting both boys in the stroller out of the stroller, etc. The sign on their door said that starting July 1st, they can no longer do license renewal. I was like, I still got time. I've got like four days. So I'm like, well, couldn't you do it? It says it doesn't start for four days. And then the other guy comes over. He goes, that sign's a year old. I'm like, okay. Now we're on to the next DMV. So many, many hours later, we are home. Um, All I got done was I got my license renewed. <laughs> He's showing you guys a thing that I got him for the beach this weekend. Um, little OOTD, I found this romper on Amazon. It is $25. I say, go. <laughs> I say it's a dupe for the Aritzia romper that is always sold out. It's extremely, extremely soft. I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys. And then just a little white to cover up the basic like mom fit right now. Okay. Yesterday I went to Target. I went in there just for baby pouches, baby food. And I knew I was probably going to spend more than planned. So I did a little mini vlog over on TikTok. But point being is I needed a swimsuit for this weekend. We are going up north to the cabin. This, <laughs> extra small. Do I think it's going to fit? No. Am I still going to try it? Yes. I don't know what I was thinking. This is obviously way too small. And it says something on the tag, like high leg thing. I don't know why I thought it said high waisted. How is that possibly high waisted? I don't know. But this is it. Definitely does not work. Also, postpartum body is like very normal. That's me not sucking in. And this is me sucking in. So, um, that's gonna be a no for me. I do like this style of the top, but. Okay, I have to go open up my mail, guys, so I'll check in with you later. I'm doing a ton of laundry right now to pack for the cabin this weekend. I literally don't have any swimsuits that fit me because I was extremely pregnant with Riser last summer. This would be better for, like, I don't think we're tubing or anything, but jet skiing and all that kind of stuff. This will be good for, so I guess I'm packing this one. I have one other swimsuit. Um, it's just gray. I wanted, like, something more bright and, like, fun for the cabin, but... 
I'll try to pack this one and my gray one. This morning has just been spent attempting to clean up a little bit. I don't know. Please let me know if you do this too. And I might get hate for doing this, which whatever. It's how you're able to watch this video. So you're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. Grayson is now three and a half. He's turning four in December and he just doesn't want to take naps anymore. It's been a struggle because like nap time, I'm sure as most of you moms know, is like when I get my stuff. Um, so it's been pretty impossible to do any type of like emails or editing my blog, etc. 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 Taylor and I had talked, and today I tried giving Grayson his iPad and giving him 45 minutes of screen time, and he just laid in his bed, watched his iPad, and then when Riser woke up, he came downstairs and he said, "Mom, Riser's up," and was just sweet as can be and happy. There was no fight. It wasn't like a get back in your bed. It's rest time. It's time for you to take a rest. Like he was just chill. Again, I might get hate because I know some people are so anti-screen time, but I got so much work done. 10 out of 10 would recommend, and I'm probably going to do it again. Um, also, if you don't know how to do guided access on like an iPad or a phone, meaning like they can only stay on the app that you click on, learn how to do that. It's very helpful. I got a new pair of wedding shoes in the mail, so we are going to do a little unboxing because um, Taylor did not like the shoes that I got. He just said the heel was too tall. Again, I'm 5'7", he's like 5'8", so we're very close in height and he doesn't want me towering over him and I don't want to be towering over him. Actually, so many of you, there must have been some like famous or influencer person who posted about these shoes because so many of you, and they were like, hey, these shoes would be perfect for your wedding. So, let's see. They are white with a tiny heel. Ew, did you burp? I don't love that it's like, this shade of brown, but that's okay. I'm just picky. And then it's supposed to wrap up around your ankle. I mean, it's a tiny heel. So we will try these on. I'm not doing free feet picks though, so you're not gonna see them on me. Sorry, but I'll let you know how it turns out. Shut up. These are so cute. Great, come here. Okay, they're a little big. Riser's eat, literally eating the other one and turning on a show apparently. Riser, we're not turning on a show right now, silly guy. They're a little big but they will do. I will link these down below. They are so cute. They're like little knockoff Yeezy slides or those shower shoes that were so popular last year. Cool, dude. What do you think? Good. You like them? Yeah. They're perfect for going to the pool or the beach. 